I was eight years old. I asked the judge, how do I get my dad out of jail? The judge looked at me and said, if you want to get your dad out, you have to become a judge. And so, and so I started studying uh, about the law. And one of the things that I wrote, read was the um, original 13th Amendment of the Constitution, which is now no longer, it's no longer in the Constitution. But the original 13th Amendment says that a, uh, a, an attorney or a lawyer um, cannot hold any public office. It's illegal for attorney work. And basically, I explained, I explained in my paperwork that everybody in the courtroom has a financial interest in this case. And that it's actually, and why is that? Because they take the bonds and all the case and they trade them on their private stock market. And then you can actually look up the trades of those bonds using what's called a QCIP report. It stands for the Committee of Uniform Security Identification Procedure. Whoa, 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 whoa. one second. You're saying when you go to jail, you're tra- you in jail or prison that you're traded like a stock? Is that what you just said or not? Yes, yes. And they use your social security number to create those bonds. I can prove it, too, because I have my father's QCIP report. So I have the report of how much they traded it for. They traded it for $7.42 billion over the 15 years that he was in prison. And so that uh, and they do that with all the cases. And so I, I wrote to the judge. I said, sir, I noticed that all this money was created off of capital gain, but no capital gains taxes were filed. So I need to know who's responsible for doing the taxes and how much you made, how much the sheriff made, how much the clerk made, how much the district attorney made. I need to know where all the money went. I need a full forensics accounting. And when I did that, I gave all the paperwork to the clerk and I said, I need you to please give this to the judge so he can read it. And I wrote him a private letter that says, please have your accountant prepare the 1099 OID and all the accounting revolving around these bonds. And Uh, She's like, you want to give, she had never had anybody ask her to give anything to the judge. And I was like, yes, if you could please do that. And she said, okay. And she was real sweet. She went to the back, gave the judge the paperwork. And then the clerk opened up the door. um, And then I said, excuse me, ma'am, are you the clerk of the court? She said, yes, I am. I say, I need you to please take this. And I gave her a letter that said the same thing. Dear clerk, please prepare the accounting for these bonds. And her eyes got real big and she waddled her fat butt to the back of the courtroom as <laughs> fast as she could and brought, gave the judge. When I was eight years old. I.